Hello and welcome to this Illustrator video tutorial. Today we'll extract a color palette from a photo in Illustrator and use it to color an object like this donut here. I'm going to start with a brand new document for the process. So I'm going to just create a document 1920 by 1080 pixels in size. Then you'll want a photo to use. So I've gone to unsplash.com because I wanted to recolor my donut in sort of purple colors. So at unsplash.com, I typed in the word purple and I went to look for photos that had the kind of purples that I wanted. I kind of liked this one and so I've downloaded it and we're going to use it. So let's switch back to Illustrator. Inside Illustrator, we'll choose File and then Place because we want to bring in the image. Here it is up here. I'll click Place and I'll just drag to put it inside my document. The next thing we need to do is to make this a bit smaller because the images that you download from a site like unsplash.com or that you might actually capture with your own camera, for example, are going to be really big. They don't need to be that big for this process. So we'll choose Object and then Rasterize. I'm just rasterizing my resolution to a screen resolution of 72 ppi. I'll click OK. That means that the next step is going to go so much more quickly because what we're going to do is to trace this image to extract the colors from it. So we'll go up here and click on Image Trace. You're going to get that as an option anytime that you have a bitmap image selected in Illustrator. If you don't see it, you can always go to Object and then Image Trace and click Make. Now the reason why we made the image so much smaller was so that this tracing process would be so much quicker. It's going to trace by default into black and white, which is exactly what we don't want. But up here on the toolbar, we get access to the Image Trace panel. But if it's not available up here, you can always go to Window and then Image Trace and that will open the panel up for you. Now before we go on, I'm just going to click Preview Off because I don't want this to trace every time I make a change to the dialog. I want it to trace when I'm ready to trace. So what I'm going to do is go and select Color from the Mode Options. The default size of the palette when you select color as your mode is limited and it's set to 30. So that means I'm going to extract 30 colors from my image. If I don't want so many colors, I could decrease them. I'm going to make it 20. You'll probably want to go well over the number of colors that you think you need. So if you want five colors, I would probably go for 10 or 12 because you're going to discard the ones that you don't like. So once you've made your choice, click Preview. Illustrator will then go ahead and trace the image, staying true to the number of colors that you asked it to use. And so this is the trace. Once you've done that, you can test it by going up here to Expand because you need to expand the image into its component parts to be able to extract those colors. With the image still selected, go over here to your Swatches panel if you don't see it. Choose Window and then Swatches to view it. With your image selected, you'll go down here to New Color Group and then select Selected Artwork, Convert Process to Global, Include Swatches for Tints and click OK. And you'll get a color palette that is the size that you asked for it to be. As you can see, I've really only got a small quantity of purples. Most of this stuff is in the blues. So by overestimating the number of colors I actually wanted, I get a better choice. So let's have a look and see how we would use this color palette to recolor our art. So I'm going to select the image and just delete it. I don't need it any longer. I have a donut here that I'm going to recolor. So I'll copy it into my document. I want to see how many colors are in this donut before I recolor it. So with it selected, I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did with the image. Create a new color group and leave these options selected. They're sticky, so they're going to stay selected and click OK. Well, this is telling me how many colors I need to recolor my donut. So I'm going to make sure that I have that number of colors. I don't want a lot of these, so I'm just going to select them, click on one, shift click on the one at the end of the row and go and delete them. So I'm just looking at decreasing the number of swatches here. I'm going to click this one to select it and I'll control click this one to select it and let's delete those two. 
So now I have extracted the exact same number of colors that I need to recolor this piece of art. So I'll select the piece of art and I'll go to the recolor artwork tool. Now it's really important that you had these colors as a color group because that is something that you can use in this recolor artwork dialog. Here are all the colors in the current piece of art and we can replace them by simply clicking on the color group. You don't want to click this down pointing arrow because all that does is open up the color group so you can look at it. You actually want to click in the middle of it. So just click once in the middle and those colors are then used to recolor your art. If you don't like the result, you can click here on randomly change color order and the color order will be changed so that different ones of these purples are matched onto different starting colors in the original art. If you see something you like, you want to stop because you won't be able to get those colors back easily. So if you see something you like, click OK. You can save the changes to the color group if you wish, just click yes. So here we were able to recolor our art using colors that we sampled from a photograph. Any time that you need colors to use in Illustrator, this is certainly an option that you could use. Some colors that are particularly difficult to get are browns. So if you look up the word brown at unsplash.com, you could find lots of images that contain brown colors. Again, you'll still want to ask the image trace option to give you more colors than you think you'll need because some of these just won't work. But you will be able to sample a whole series of colors that will allow you to use those in your art, whatever it happens to be. This image I really like. I've used it to extract some colors from as well and get some good browns out of it. But notice that there's a lot of gray in this image and sort of blue grays. So you're going to want to overestimate the number of browns that you need to be able to get a nice spectrum of browns from an image like this because you're going to get a lot of grays and blue grays from it as well. Before we finish up, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. I also have Illustrator training at Udemy.com, and there's a referral link for every one of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned things about working in Illustrator of which you were unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.